Jersey Boys, very popular on Broadway, of course. Yeah, this is a Broadway cast. It is now a movie. Uh, it's a big deal. Let's take a look at the trailer, please. Produce your songs, find the name and a sound, and then we can make something happen. Listen, we got something for you, all right? Sherry. Set up the A track. We're gonna double Frankie's voice. It's gonna explode right off the radio. I, I love the music of the Four Seasons. Anyway, this movie, can't wait to see it, directed by Clint Eastwood, tells the real story of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons singing group. This morning, we're joined by some of the actors from the movie, Eric Bergen, Michael Lamanda, Lamenda. You got it. And, <laughs> and uh, also, Vincent Piazza, who you may recognize from the HBO show Boardwalk Empire. Nice to have you all here. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Now, Michael, you were in the, uh, on the, in the play, right? I was. I was uh, in the Toronto production for two years and then toured, actually, Eric, and I sort of worked on the same show. You opened the first national tour. Yeah, we bookended the uh, the tour. And, yeah. uh, I also did the Las Vegas production, and, uh, and Vincent's was doing it on cruise ships for years. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know Vincent sang. We didn't, I don't think he knew that he sang, but he does it pretty well. No All right, so great. tell us what it was like working together for this, for this movie. It was surreal. Every day was surreal. You know, you, you get a call that says that uh, Clint Eastwood would like you for his new movie, and it's, uh, it's sort of a, we sort of, go to your therapist and the gym at the same time. <laughs> and, you, and flip the table. Right, right. exactly. <laughs> so uh, every day was really a thrill. And of course, what was so great about um, Clint's vision was that he decided to use so many people who had done the show in various incarnations, uh, not just uh, John Lloyd Young, who stars as Frankie, who won the Tony for it here, but those of us who had been in tours. And all throughout the film, there are scattered uh, with uh, actors who have done the show in various versions. Very cool. By the way, uh, is it true to what we saw on Broadway, right? And there are, are there any major deviations? Well, I, I think in tone, it's very different. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think uh, it's very faithful to the musical, but yet uh, breathes in a different way because of the medium. Uh, so we get, you know, even more of that dramatic storytelling. It's, a little, I think, more of an intimate portrait of these guys. When you think about Clint Eastwood, you think about like these kind of rough kind of movies, like very macho kind of movies. That's why we didn't think we would ever be in a Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a, a musical, but the backstory to the Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons is amazing. And uh, who knew yeah. what they went through? Well, it's interesting. You meet you meet Bob, you meet Frankie, and then you meet Mr. Eastwood, and you realize these guys are kind of the same type of folks. They're grounded, legendary, icon guys. So it kind of makes sense that he'd be telling their story. So. Very cool. I would like to get the backstories on you guys, if you okay. don't mind. Vincent, how did you get into this uh, this gig? Uh, overall, entertainment. I was hoping you knew. <laughs> but, um, no, I. Uh, it was very interesting, because originally the film was going to go uh, maybe a year prior to, to when it did go. And at that point, I was in the mix for it. And they were going to go in a different direction with a different director. And then it got shelved. And then uh, it came back to life. My agent called me, and she said, uh, Clint Eastwood's directing. I said, great, amazing. You have to make a tape. And she goes, but don't get your hopes up too high, because they're casting mostly from the musical. I said, OK. So I went in, sang a few bars, did a scene. And a week later, Can we later, hear what you sang? Uh, <laughs> watch the movie. Uh, but yeah, it was. Um, if we uh, sang this early, no one would see them. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, I, next thing you know, I had it. And um, I told her, I said, please call back and let them know that I haven't sang, danced, or played the guitar. Make sure they have the right guy. And I was told I was in great hands. And, and ultimately, I was. I mean, between Mr. Eastwood and, and, and these guys, uh, it was a very supportive environment for it. Michael, what were you doing before you got the uh, the audition? Uh, I, I did the Toronto tour, and, and then I sort of joined the first national tour and did it for about a year and a half. And then Mr. Eastwood showed up in the lobby of our matinee one day towards the end of that run, unannounced, kind of surprised us all. And I didn't believe it until I saw a picture from one of our cast members on my phone that said, oh, he's really there. And then we met him oh. afterwards. <laughs> you guys, wow, impressed like we would be impressed. Yeah. You stand by for a second. We want to see a clip, OK? Yeah, don't Hit go it. anywhere. Or I won't move. <laughs> I don't get it. What don't you get, Tommy? The title, Walk Like a Man. So? As opposed to what, a woman? No, it's for boys, Tommy, teenage boys. But we're, we're telling them to act like men. Instead of like girls. Yeah, instead of like, no, instead of like boys. Come on, why are you doing this? Hey, 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 Miss Congeniality, it's a metaphor. It's an anthem for every guy who's ever been twisted around a girl's little finger. And if I'm explaining that to you, we're in trouble. Walk like a man. Take one. Was 
drama behind that song. It's crazy. It's so funny. It's great to see this too because uh, that scene is, of course, lifted straight from the from the show and all these these scenes uh, that the fans love from the show. You know, like Vincent said, I mean, there's definitely a new vision. There's Clint's vision on it, but the script that Marshall Brickman and Rick Ellis wrote for the Broadway show, we've retained most of it. And I've been doing this show since I was uh, 20 years old. Uh, so How old are you now? Why would you ask that question? No, 22, I'm, I'm, no, I'm 22. Right, 20, no, I'm 28 years old. I was, I'm born and raised in New York City. You are? Yeah, oh, right here, nice right near Manhattan. You. And, um, and you know, I, I left when I was 20 to open the tour. And so I've really got to see, really gotten to see all of uh, Jersey Boys across the country and see how much it affects fans. And we had our sort of uh, New York premiere last night. And, and to see, it was otherworldly. I mean, the celebrities that were there, you know, sort of the New York legends, Barbara Walters and Regis Philbin right. and all, Clive Davis, all these great people walking in. But we had so many of the hardcore fans that have been with us from day one in the audience and the screaming yeah. that went on, you know, sort of like entrance applause for everyone's first appearance on the screen. It's a night we'll never forget. Oh, that's wow. so nice. Congratulations. We're glad you had that moment. We're going to enjoy this movie. Thank uh, you. Jersey Boys comes out Friday officially, right? Wait, next, next, next Friday. Next Friday. Right. Week I thought Friday. it was this week. I can't wait. You wanted so much. I know. We like that. We like yeah. that. Yeah. Anyway, we'll have to wait. Nice <laughs> to meet you Good all. To Congratulations. You well, Thanks. What's going on with Ford Walk, by the way? Uh, we're in the middle of shooting the final season, sadly. Yeah. Yeah, eight more episodes, and we're about halfway through. So he needs a job, is what he's saying. Yeah, <laughs> or maybe a movie. Uh, <laughs> Boardwalk the movie. Thank you, sir, very hey, much. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks All right.